Hey guys, what's up? Sandu here. Today I'll be testing one of the best, if not the best, solid state headphone amplifier that I have ever tried, called Sparkos Labs Aries. So when you think that you know them all, that you have listened to the best solid state headphone amplifiers on this planet, a little doggy called Lutz would come and will tell you that you know nothing, young Padawan. So as you probably know, I hold my uh, benchmark HPA4 at the top of the mountain as the best solid state uh, headphone amplifier that I have ever tried. But with all that said, Andrew Sparko casually told me that he would love to hear my opinion and on Aries and even asked if a comparison with the benchmark HPA4 would be possible. So it shows how much confidence uh, Andrew has in its own design and how proud he is uh, about it. So how could I say no to such an opportunity and um, here it is in all its glory. In terms of design, Aris looks impressively huge on my table. It is quite bigger than most headphone amps I have tested around here. It comes back in black only with a really nice texture, which I have rarely seen in the hi-fi world. The surface has a bigger grain to it, which will resist accidental scratches or maybe even light drops. To me it looks elegant and straight to the point. I also like the symmetrical look of the faceplate with those uh, two wheels on both sides with a big OLED screen in the middle. That OLED screen is actually a touch screen, so you can power the device only by pressing the touch screen in the lower right corner. By default it will show the selected gain, the balance control, the volume level and the selected input. Once you press the settings button you can select three inputs or four inputs on the full version so two RCA's on the back and a 3.5mm jack on the front panel. You can swap the controls of both wheels, you can change the gain, change some display settings as brightness, background and foreground color and restore it to the factory settings. It has a single headphone output on the front, so a quarter inch jack, suggesting that Aries is actually a single-ended amplifier from input to output. Before checking its backplate, you should know that there are two versions of Aries, so a base model that is only a headphone amp only and does not have any balanced inputs and balanced preamp outputs on the back. This one goes for $2500. The full version is having all that and can work as a single-ended or as a balanced preamp too, and the full version will cost you $500 more. I am testing the base model, so those XLR inputs and outputs are covered and we are left with two pairs of RCA inputs with an AC socket and with a voltage selector. Checking the tech inside the Aris, this is where it gets super super interesting. So Sparkos Labs developed two types of discrete op amps. They have deep 8 op amps coming in single or dual flavors but they also made a completely no compromise all discrete op amp, the one to rule them all. I'm about their SS2590 Pro discrete op amp, which is much bigger in size and it is considered by many as the best discrete op amp on the market. So as you can see at the heart of Aries, four SS2590 Pro discrete op amps will work as input and output stages for the main amplifier circuit. If you go for the full version besides the Pro op amps, the single and well deep 8 op amps will handle the XLR inputs and will drive the preamp outputs. But since we have the basic version, uh, these op amps are missing in our test unit. Aries is also using a high quality transformer shielded with Mu Metal for extremely low magnetic field pickup and hum. The power supply is also regulated by a high end Sparkos discrete voltage regulators. Another great feature is that Aries is using a read relay switched stepped attenuator and this attenuator has 64 steps, so basically one decibel per one step. The resistors inside the attenuator are all high precision, so 0.1% tolerance. So in short terms, uh, what you should know that at any gain, at any volume position, this stepped volume control will provide a perfect volume matching between the left and the right channel which will basically outperform every analog attenuator on the market, not only in terms of volume matching, but also in terms of noise. So as you can see, there isn't a single part in the analog circuitry where I would spot a compromise. I see only a high performance stepped attenuator. I see best in class voltage regulators and probably the best discrete op amps ever created. Sparkos Labs ensured that it has 1.6 microvolts of noise at zero dB gain 
That is the lowest noise I have ever mentioned uh, around here. Even the mighty benchmark HPA4 has it at 1.9 microvolts at unity gain of 0 dB. If you want that in decibels instead of microvolts, then that is about minus 130 decibels of noise at close to maximum volume. Ok my friends, time to hit some eardrums. Since I know my Matrix Element X a lot better than the Denaflips Venus and uh, since Otis LCD4 is currently my uh, favorite headphone, I connected both to Aries uh, for a longer listening session after an agonizing two weeks of waiting uh, because of that burning. So in terms of tonality you should know that it was uh, quite difficult picking up the tonality of Aries uh, because the creator itself uh, wanted to make it uh, basically dead silent and uh, clean as possible sound without uh, staying in front of the music signal. So after hearing uh, affordable arms for the past month or so, uh, listening to Aries felt like uh, opening wide my windows towards music and uh, unprecedented levels of transparency just rushed in towards me. So the first feeling that I've got is that it sounds just absolutely uh, unrestrained and really effortless. So the background noise is the blackest that I have encountered, even with the most sensitive IEMs at my side at maximum volume that is happening. So yes, my friends, uh, Aries basically sounds as detailed, as clean, as transparent and as linear as the benchmark HPA4. And when you are listening to any op amp based uh, amplifiers, uh, you get this feeling that there are bumps down the road, that uh, the speed is somehow decreasing, that that uh, ultimate thump and um, slam is carrying just uh, less impact and the overall enjoyment uh, factor is uh, heavily affected. By comparison, Aries sounds like uh, throwing some Molotov cocktails directly into my eardrums, igniting some uh, fiery dynamics uh, followed by some neck bending headbangs. So I think that in terms of Sonics, um, Aries has them all and is basically the real deal. As for background noise, Andrew was not joking around about those minus 130 decibels of noise. So the most sensitive IEMs that I have at my place are the FIO FH7. So with an impedance of just 16 ohms and with a sensitivity of uh, 111 decibels per 1 milliwatt of power, you can be sure that this one can pick up even dog whistles in your tunes. So any gain I would engage, I mean low gain, medium gain or high gain, up to unity gain of 0 dB, so almost maxed out, I would hear an absolute level of silence in all my tunes, so the background is basically as black as it can be. So to this day only one single headphone amplifier could do the same and that was the benchmark HPA4. So there are a lot of amps that can uh, that had a clean background with just uh, tiny amounts of uh, background noise, but when talking about uh, dead silent performance, uh, only Aries and uh, HPA4 were the ones to rule them all. Thanks to that impressive uh, stepped attenuator of Aries, uh, listening to IEMs is actually a real pleasure. So first of all, low level listening uh, works impressively well uh, thanks to that uh, perfect channel balance between the left and right and due to the fact that uh, volume doesn't rise way too fast. So I have plenty of volume to play with, with Aries, even with uh, my very sensitive IEMs. In terms of resolution and transparency, the good thing when you lower that uh, noise floor to bottomless speeds as uh, minus 130 decibels the uh, micro details can't hide anymore and uh, could be just uh, basically picked up as berries from a branch. So uh, Aries plays up I think with the best there are in terms of transparency and resolution. So I no longer giggle when I'm uh, hearing a hidden note or maybe some uh, imperfection in a tune or maybe a mastering error because living with a benchmark HP for, for uh, more than a year made me expect those, so um, I'm no longer searching for them, though they are coming towards me by themselves. While listening to any kind of reference recordings, uh, Aries will not just show everything is there to hear, but will also highlight an additional layer that maybe the mixing console recorded, but couldn't play it back. So uh, yes, I've heard uh, people inhaling and exhaling uh, air by listening to Antonio Vivaldi, The Four Seasons by Chesky, I've heard how they are moving their feet in the auditorium too. On the Rage Against the Machine Bulls on Parade, I've clearly heard how Tom is pressing that pedal of his guitar amp. 
I've heard thumbs rubbing against guitar strings and voice chords vibrating naturally. If there are some hidden notes in your tunes, uh, Aries will just find them all and will push them towards the listener. So the most interesting part is that when you hear so much information, you kind of uh, expect some drawbacks, uh, like maybe some dryness in the mid-range or maybe some uh, brightness in the treble. But that actually never happened with Aries with any headphones I would listen to. So just a truly transparent, super resolute, uh, super effortless and natural sounding amplifier. Can you really ask for more than that? As for transient response with background noise, completely out of the picture with a senior level of transparency, with a huge damping factor thanks to those uh, pro discrete op amps, you can be sure that Aries knows how to throw some punches. So with the right music and with the right headphone, uh, Aries will just grab you and will pound you with some incredible slam with uh, just a high amount of energy, uh, speed and impact. Aries is one of those lighting fast amps that just make you turn your head uh, searching for a, for a musical note that just disappeared in an instant. So spectral decay is obviously super fast. I even went as far as uh, measuring some of my headphones uh, like uh, the spectral decay and the total harmonic distortion with Aries and with the Benchmark HPA4 just to strengthen my findings. So if you crave about speed, about punch, about slam, about uh, just impact, uh, Aries is just right your alley. Here's the funny thing, uh, Aries can also be a gentle giant with the right source. So when I connected it to the Denafrips Venus and after engaging that uh, non-oversampling mode, uh, Aries transforms itself to unrecognizable. So from fast and aggressive, it started sounding uh, smooth, gentle and really easy going. So Denafrip Venus and Matrix Audio Element X are basically living proofs that Aries is actually a true wire with gain amplifier when it comes to amplifying an analog signal. As for sound stage and depth, thanks to that uh, see-through transparency and a complete absence of the background noise, uh, you could start defining how big is the stage of a particular track, so how uh, deep the sounds can go or maybe how much distance is between me and uh, uh, those artists that are playing in front of me. So uh, focusing on a single part or maybe on a single note from a crowded track is not that hard anymore. I don't even need to close my eyes for that to happen. I want to point out that Aries will not try to artificially enhance the size of the soundstage how a few particular tube-based amplifiers are trying to do, but instead it will render a really lifelike depth where I can um, uh, sense the air mass moving around towards me, uh, maybe hitting an imaginary wall at some point. So um, as depth, uh, sound staging capabilities are also not enhanced. Uh, however, I still believe that Aries is having one of the widest, one of the biggest sound stage I encountered when, uh, at, uh, in solid state electronics. So it's really wide, it's really expanded uh, on the right music and with the right headphones, but it's never really up front or close up to the listener. Uh, so RZH Phobos that you see right here is a very capable headphone uh, that can show a really nice uh, pinpoint imaging uh, without artificially enhancing the size of the stage from, I mean, from left to right, for example. So with it, I could easily walk by my tunes um, and it sounded as airy um, as I remember them on the other top of the line equipment. So that is a very good sign for uh, Sparkos Aries. In terms of frequency response, I want to point out that sub bass is going down to the lowest octaves, uh, being incredibly tight and uh, decaying just basically in an instant. So, uh, it sounds incredibly layered, especially on electronica music, I feel how uh, waves of sub bass are coming towards me, so one after another uh, hitting me relentlessly. So uh, it's also the cleanest type of bass that is uh, transparent and really detailed. Mid bass is basically the same, so as articulate, as deep, as clean and as controlled as the low end is. Uh, moving on to the mid range, it's also very linear and straight as a line. So at first I thought that uh, it may be drier sounding than other amplifiers with some particular sources or maybe with some headphones. But if it's not with my uh, Matrix Audio Element X, which is extra linear in the mid range and extra crispy up top in the treble, then surely Aries will play well and will be paired really great with every source possible. 
Again, I'm hearing the mid-range, natural sounding, evolving and really smooth with some particular songs. So uh, since Aries uh, has that effortless presentation that I told you before, uh, mid-range never really felt uh, dry sounding or just plain boring sounding. Uh, it is just sounding always uh, full of substance, uh, meaty and really guttural sounding with uh, all voices. Transitioning to the treble area is made without any fanfare, so without any drops or rises in the frequency response. Again, just a super extended and a really neutral type of uh, treble. So there isn't any trace of digital glare, that is uh, very good news. There, uh, any grain in the treble can be spotted, so brightness is nowhere to be found. Uh, yet it's always extra clean, extra detailed, extra textured. Uh, so I can almost touch those hi-hats, those uh, cymbals, those snares, those drums. So airy sounds defined and crystal clear even past subsonic treble areas, I mean past 16 kHz area. So simply put, Aries uh, has the widest frequency response uh, that is easily on the same level with the benchmark HP4. It's simple as that. In terms of power output from a big collection of headphones, uh, from which four are desktop planar magnetic headphones, uh, Aries was able to drive them all at medium gain, which is absolutely amazing. So only the OTC LCD4 and uh, with the Hi-Fi Minaria, I needed to go a little bit uh, more past that 0 dB of volume. So max volume is plus 20 dB, so obviously there is still a lot of uh, headroom left on tap. Uh, and it could drive even heavier loads than that. With all that said, I want to say that Aries is not the most powerful amplifier that I have tested. So there are still a few units that outperformed it in terms of uh, raw power output. But personally for me, uh, you should know that the quality of that power and uh, how clean is that power is more important than the brute force and how loud it could go. So this is probably the only con that I can mention about uh, Aries headphone amplifier. So Andrew asked me if I could do a comparison between his Aries and between the benchmark HP4. So let's do this. I will skip all the specs, I will skip uh, all the looks, price and we'll focus only on the sound quality. So to make a proper calculated comparison, it was mandatory, it was very important to volume match both of them. So for that I used a mini DSP system and I used a Ryu 5.1 software. I generated a 300 Hz uh, sine wave and I calibrated both of them at 85 dB of volume using an Odyssey LCD4. So for 85 dB of volume, Aries volume was set as at plus 3 dB and benchmark HPA4 was set as at minus 24 dB. So as you can clearly see, uh, HPA4 is already showing clear signs that it is just more powerful than Aries. So I prepared a lengthy playlist with music of uh, different genres, uh, and as I wanted just to cover absolutely everything from slow to ethereal music to aggressive to really speedy and to angry music. I only used the LCD4, obviously, since I calibrated both amplifiers with this one. I used the same RCA interconnect cables, the same power cables, the same source. Only the amps will be swapped. So I started listening to some classical music, then I moved to some folk music, then I moved to some alternative music, then to some electronica tracks, then to some rock, and then to some metal. Truth to be told, as much as I have tried, after many, many tunes, after many hours of listening tests, I couldn't spot a clear and defined difference between these two amplifiers. So sometimes I felt that the one is closer sounding, and sometimes I felt that the other one is closer sounding, sometimes I felt that the one is slamming me harder, sometimes I felt that the other one is slamming me harder. So it was late night and uh, I blamed that I am just tired and I took a pause. In the next morning I took a hot shower, I even used some Audi spray for the cleanest ears ever. So I redid my tests and I couldn't believe my ears that uh, both again sounded absolutely identical to me. With all that said, please remember one thing. So Benchmark HPA4 was developed by a vast team of engineers with years and years of experience under their belts. On the other hand, um, Andrew Sparko is the only engineer in his team and he was able to create the same type of reference sound, uh, top of the line headphone amplifier 
with his own hands. This is still their first boxed product and I can only imagine how uh, it will sound their second or their third product. I also want to point out that when you buy a product from a big company like Benchmark, uh, nobody except you is happy about that purchase. But when you buy a product from a two-person business, you make three people happy. So you'll be supporting a small company that cares about music, uh, you'll be supporting creativity and just the development of their future products. As a short conclusion, put it simply this way. Sparkos Labs Aries together with the Benchmark HP 4 are still the best headphone amplifiers that I have ever listened to. Ok guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. My full in-depth review can be checked on my website. In case you want to support this channel, please subscribe to it and thank you for doing that. As usual, listen to my music, be positive and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys, bye bye.